Hi, this is John Schwabish from PolicyViz, and I'm very pleased to bring you this chart styles add-in that John Peltier from Peltier Tech and I have created. And this video is just one of several that's going to show you some of the features uh, available in the Chart Styles Excel add-in that you can use to apply your organization or your individual branded styles and colors and fonts to your charts. So what the chart styles add-in will do is add a new tab to your ribbon. So you can see here at the very top of my Excel uh, window here, I have the standard home, insert, page layout, formulas tab, et cetera, et cetera. And then on the far right, having installed this add-in, I get a new tab called chart styles. And in the chart styles add-in, you can see that we have a variety of different menus that I'm going to show, demonstrate just a, just a few of those in a moment. And the goal here again is to create, allow you to create charts that follow your branded uh, data visualization styles and color palette. And so let me first start by demonstrating what we can do with this very simple uh, add-in with some very simple data. So I'm gonna insert a chart using the standard Excel charting engine. So I'm going to just insert here a simple column chart with these data for these different countries. And you can see how Excel creates uh, the standard chart type in Excel 2016. It's got a title at the top, a legend at the bottom. Uh, it's got the standard Calibri font and the default colors, in this case, of blue and orange. So if I click on my chart styles add-in, and I can want to style this chart following this particular imaginary organization's branded styles, I can first start by selecting this options button on the far left. And in the chart styles option menu, we present three different options for the user to select from. And these can be customized to, to accommodate the needs of your organization. But in this case, we have this as the default. And so we have three options here to format the charts as a web graph, as for a report, and then for other. And you can see that we have two different image styles that's sort of in our head to, to create here, whether it's a PNG or a PDF. Now, what are the differences here? Well, for example, you might create a web graphic for say a blog post or your website or a social media feed that would include the title and the subtitle and the legend and the sources and notes and maybe even a logo in the graphic itself. Alternatively, you might create a graph that would be embedded in a longer report. And if that report were uh, being written in, say, Microsoft Word, you might want the graph itself to just be the content of the graph, just the line chart, just the bar chart. And the title and the subtitle and the notes and the sources, those might be text that you would write out in the Word document itself. So we can create different types of charts to meet different needs of different audiences. We also have uh, uh, an option here that allows you to create new charts using a selected style that's embedded in here or the Excel defaults. I'm gonna leave for, for demonstration purposes the, the style that we're going to use here. And then finally, when styling a chart, do you want to keep the original chart or do you wanna duplicate the chart? And you might wanna duplicate the chart because maybe you've added some text in the chart and maybe a title, maybe you've added some other annotations or text boxes and you wanna be able to copy and paste that text from the original chart to the style chart. Or for example, you might see that you might need to do something again, and you might wanna have that original chart there in the background so that you could use it again. So I'm gonna leave these options as they are here just for demonstration purposes. So I'll press plus okay. And now just to restyle this chart, all I wanna do is I have an Excel file that already exists. I have a bunch of charts, and now I just wanna apply my organization's styles and colors and logo to this chart. I can simply go into this format charts menu here in the middle of the chart styles uh, add-in. I can click apply colors. This is going to apply all the colors from this imaginary organization. And it will create an entirely new chart that I will slide over here to the right so that you can see the, the differences between the two. What have we done? Well, you can see we have a very different color palette. Instead of blue and orange, we have blue and red. We've added a space for a title and a subtitle, a y-axis title, and we've moved the legend up to the top of the graph. We've put a, source, an, a, a text box for the sources and the notes at the very bottom left of the graph, and we've added a, a logo into the bottom right. And so now I could take this graph and I could publish this. Uh, I, could, I could obviously go in and change the text for the title and the subtitle. I could save this graph and I could post it to a blog or to a social media feed. So that's just one way that we could use uh, the add-in. But let me show you another way that we could do it. Say we wanna make 
uh, graph directly. So here I have uh, for these uh, few countries, I have changes over time. Let's say I want to make a line chart of this data. I'm just going to put my, my cursor right in the data in the first uh, value here. And I'm going to go to the line chart menu. And here I can actually make a line chart in the chart styles add-in directly. So I can select this button and I'm going to create a line chart of all those countries, of all those data in my branded colors with the colors, the logo, the fonts, as they are set in the organization. And all the elements in this chart, we could style to accommodate the specific needs of your organization. So for example, say you wanted to have the lines directly labeled instead of having a legend, that can be built into the add-in. Say you wanted to have the x-axis labels here uh, that are shown along the zero axis line. Perhaps you wanted them at the very bottom of the chart that can be accommodated as well. So there are lots of changes that we can make and adjustments that can be made to this add-in to accommodate the needs of you and your organization. So if you are interested in using such this kind of product for your organization, but customize for your specific needs of your colors, your fonts, your layout, and your logo, please feel free to contact us. You can go to policyviz.com slash about on the contact page and get in touch with us directly. If you'd like to see other aspects of the tool, please check out some of the other videos that are linked below. And we look forward to hearing from you soon.